Hi, so I'm here to do the revelatory readings for all of the elemental signs of water, earth, fire, and air. The deck that I'm using is the Rider Waite deck by Pamela Colin Smith and Arthur Waite. And I am going to pull one card for each element sign, each element. The cards are pre-shuffled and pre-cleansed. However, in between pulling a card for each elemental sign, I do replace all the cards in the deck, reshuffle and recut. Okay, so let's see what we have. What do we have for the water signs for the 24th of August, 2023? And the card that has been pulled for you is the Eight of Cups reversed. Now, the Eight of Cups reversed shows that perhaps you're in the state of confusion about what path you want to take in your life. You're not really sure what's best for you, and you're drifting. You're drifting from one situation, one circumstance to another, one job to another. You're not really sure. You're not focused. Now, it does talk about you being aware of what exactly it is that you need to do in order to move forward, but there's something in your life, and it's been taking place for a long time, that is stopping you stopping you from bringing joy or pleasure into your life. And even though your soul's desire is to move away from a situation, a circumstance, a belief pattern, okay, perhaps even a job or a situation or an environment, you're wanting to leave it, but you're scared. You're scared of the change. You're scared of losing what it is that you've worked for because it has given you great comfort. Now, it also talks about maybe you being stuck in limbo because you're stuck between two important decisions. One, you might want to change your work and work on yourself for the better, but at the same time, you may not be in, this, in the position that you need to be financially in order to move forward, and so you're having to make sacrifices that are necessary in order to achieve this. It does talk about you needing to have courage, believe that you deserve better, okay? Because there are more joyous things that are awaiting you if you move forward into a new opportunity or a new, new situation. Now, when, you, when it's talking about love, the Eight of Cups reverse talks about maybe your gut is telling you that this really isn't the relationship for you, okay? You need to leave this partnership, but there's something that's holding you back. So it's important to question this fear and understand it. It also talks about being difficult to give up what you've built over time, the time and emotions and energy that you've invested into another person. But you know what? You have to be wise enough to leave something that isn't working for you, okay? You have to work out whether that desire to leave comes from the relationship truly reaching its end or whether it's still salvageable. And if this card is coming up in your reading concerning love, it is saying that it is time to get a clear head about what you need to do and address whatever it is that is stopping you from moving forward. Now, if it's talking about career, you may be finding it difficult or even perhaps you're being stubborn. You're being mule-headed. You're refusing to walk away from something that isn't good for you or isn't sufficing you your, your career. You're, walk, you're scared to walk away from it out of fear. You feel that, you know, even though you're in an unfulfilling career, that you don't have the power to change it when you do. You can choose to accept a role that offers you no emotional reward, no creative outlet, no opportunity for growth, or you can make those changes. You can move forward. You have the opportunities in front of you. You just need to reach out to them. Don't be afraid of leaving something that is no longer working for you because that time is now. Maybe it's time to own your own business. And maybe you're staying in a job that is a dead-end street because you're scared to let go. Maybe you have um, a sense of duty. And maybe that sense of duty is bringing about that fear into your life. Now, if you're talking about finances, you may be finding it difficult to leave because of your financial security. Maybe you're holding on to a job that doesn't serve you because out of fear that, you know, you mightn't find another job that pays as good elsewhere or pays more. So this concern is valid, especially nowadays with the, the price of things. And indeed, things are getting worse and worse. And so maybe you are scared. But bold decisions and risks, they're required. You need to consider how much your happiness is truly worth to you. Maybe put aside a little bit of time every day and look for openings in job opportunities that meet your economic needs and serve those emotional needs that you have. So indeed, this is a good card to pull because you know what? It's seeing water signs that it's time to leave a circumstance, a situation that is a dead end street. It's time to reach out for more opportunities and more emotional balance in your life. Okay, so let's move on to the earth signs. 
and that is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Let's put the card back into the death. Put the card back in. I'm having a hard time with my lighting. My lighting is so bad today. I don't know what's causing it, but see if I can see if I can fix it. I don't know if that's any better. Let's try this side. <laughs> no, that's worse. So I'll turn that one off. That one's not working. I don't know. I guess you'll just have to take it this way. This is, all, this is the best that I can do. So what do we have for the element of Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the 24th of July, 2023? We're so close to August. I can't believe it. I mean, it seems like summer just started, and now I'm looking forward to the fall leaves. So I'm hoping I'll have some good changes in my life in the fall. We'll see what happens. So what do we have for the earth signs of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo for the 24th, uh, July 2023? And the card that I pulled for you is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles indicates that you've reached a stage in your life where you feel confident, you feel independent, you feel self-sufficient, as opposed to um, what the water signs felt, where they felt insecure. You're at the point in your life where you've finally managed to find financial success. You feel confident, you feel in power, you feel in balance in your life, okay? There's joy, there's security, there's freedom, and material wealth brings this to you. Now, I just talk about you celebrating the difficulties that you've been through, the struggles, the hard work that you went through to get to this point in your life, okay? You have a wider perspective. You understand the spiritual values of your success. You know how difficult it was to get there. And you intend to enjoy every single day that you have achieved this success in your life. So maybe you're not at that completion in your journey yet. There's more. There's more to come. There is an element of community and relationships, okay? And there are more gifts to come into your life. There is a specific time in your, in your life that is bringing about that period of grace. Now, I just talk about diplomacy and grace is going to lead to the desired outcome in your life if you're moving forward into a new endeavor in your life. Perhaps you're starting a new business that is going to bring about financial success. Life has been kind to you. You've been protected. You're at the moment in your life where you are experiencing luxury or at least having everything that you need or perhaps what you want. Maybe you're not partnered right now. It does talk about romance, doesn't seem particularly pressing to you at this point in time. You're just seeking to appreciate what it is that you've brought into fruition in your life. And this quality is making you more attractive to others. Maybe there are pe people who are taking notice of you now because you have that semblance of calmness, that semblance of balance, okay? Maybe you are in a relationship where each of the people in that relationship have their own achievements, their own careers, their own hobbies, their own interests in social life. And so there is a healthy mix of independence and love amongst this, this relationship. Maybe there's a period of time taking place now where you and your partner are work, working on your home together and you're creating the space that truly feels like yours. If you have children, maybe you and your children are working on making um, a home environment, a space that you, you feel comfortable in, that you feel balanced in, that you feel secure in. Okay. Now, it does say career-wise that you have achieved a lot in your career and you are being rewarded accordingly. Abundant, success, financial success, financial rewards, and they're all highly, highly and rightly earned. All your hard work and your attitude, your professional attitude have paid off. And now you can take the time to sit back and you can enjoy your success. Your business is flourishing. The profits are going to enable you to live comfortably. Maybe you're even planning a vacation or taking some time off after working diligently and very hard for a period of time. 
It does talk about prosperity, st stability, and financial security, and that has what you've been buying for. If you have invested your time or your resources into something, it's time for you to enjoy the rewards that come with it. Now, your social status may improve because of this newfound comfort. And it's also talking about land. It's talking about property because this card is tied to the element of earth, okay, which is, which is land, right? So you may be in the process of saving or purchasing property. Be very vigilant, indeed, if that is the case. Make sure that you read all the fine print and all the details, but it does talk about you finding a balance in your life, finding where you belong, and your security. So congratulations, Virgos and Taurus and Capricorn. You are moving forward into your sun, your element of Earth. Namaste. So let us put those cards back in the deck, and let us look at what the fire signs of... Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries are looking for on the 24th of August 2023. Now, I'm seeing so much um, variation between the signs, okay? Because, I mean, the water signs are kind of looking at their life and trying to escape a life of perhaps uh, a dead-end road. They're, they're moving from something that wasn't giving them that sense of balance, and they're moving towards something that will. And then we have the earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, who indeed have found um, that sense of balance in their life. Now let's see if the fire signs of Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries are moving in the same direction. Do you see, do you see where this is headed, though? I'm seeing where the energies are. I'm seeing where the energies are. And indeed, they all seem to be bringing up the same type of thing. Fear of security, lack of security, um, and those that have reached the end of um, that search for security and stability. So let us see, what do we have for the fire signs? Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Oh, I'm having a hard time with my lights. They keep flickering here, so let's see if I've got this on right. Okay, so the card that I pulled for you, for the fire signs, is the four, hang on, i got to try to get this light fixed here. It is the four of swords reversed. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah, okay, let's try this. I so need to buy a new camera. <laughs> okay, so the Four of Swords reverse. And this is for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Now, it does talk about a time of healing, okay? But it could also stand for restlessness. You're, you need to relax, okay? Your heart is willing to relax, but your mind isn't. So you're feeling kind of like torn, whether you need some reprieve, whether you need some rest. Maybe you feel like you have too much depending on you, and it doesn't seem fair. And that is going to affect your health. Now, you can continue to fight, but sometimes that's intellectual. And you have enough awareness in your own strength and you decide to pull away from that. So this might be a period of time where you're saying, you know what? I've had enough. I've had enough. I need a break. I need some rest. I need to retreat. I need to have some self-love. And you might, you might need to focus on your health at this point in time. And that might be emotionally needed. Now, maybe you haven't heeded the warnings of giving yourself rest. Maybe you've been working continuously. Maybe you've been overworking, overstressing yourself, not feeding your body healthy, okay? And this could even be in love. You need to give yourself a break. Maybe you're not ready to make a choice. If you've been chasing somebody, if you've been interested in somebody, and they're not giving you any never mind, okay? Maybe you're feeling now that your advances or your interest is not wanted or it's unwelcome. You may benefit by giving this person time and space to make their own choice and not pushing, um, not putting any pressure on them. Sometimes putting pressure on someone will create the opposite effect of what it is that you're desiring. Okay? It can indicate, you know, this card can indicate coming out of a period of rest, okay? 
Maybe you're feeling more energized. Maybe this is a period of time where you are feeling able to move forward in a relationship, in a circumstance, in a job situation, in a, an environmental situation, right? Maybe you're feeling like your life has become too routine and now you're reigniting that passion for your own life. Maybe you took a break from work. Maybe you took a vacation. Maybe now you're feeling ready to return full force. Maybe you've used this time to reduce your stress and take some much needed time to take care of yourself and you feel rejuvenated in a way. You're feeling like situations that caused you suffering and frustration are easier to handle now. So try and be more aware of your stress levels, okay? Work, work, but definitely take that time to rest. Don't, don't give up on your work, don't quit your job or don't uh, not concentrate on your job, but take time also to focus on yourself and to focus on your health. Stop putting all your effort into work for other people or jobs or situations that benefit other people and start focusing on your body because if you don't your body will force you to take a break you might want to consider changing jobs at this point in time because it talks about a situation that truly looks like it's not going to improve if you don't so your financial situation it might be improving you may be recovering from a period of intense pressure where the bills were piling up okay and maybe now you've paid down some debts bills are being paid expenses are decreasing but alternatively it, it talks about pressure increasing where you're feeling overwhelmed with things okay now there are people that care and love you and they're willing to help you so look for that support accept that support ask for that support So there may be something taking place in your life where, you know, you're accepting financial support even though perhaps you have the finances that you need because you're trying to save, you're trying to um, save for the future. So maybe you have put something away in savings and instead of using that money, you're focused on saving that money for a bill that's coming up soon and maybe you're... Um, you're willing to accept a loan or you're willing to accept help, financial support from someone else or even financial advice from someone else at this point in time, okay? And don't not accept financial help. If you need the finances and you need the help, there is someone there that loves and cares about you and indeed, don't be too proud to accept the help because you know what? Fire signs, you may just need it. Today, the 24th of August, 2023, the cards are warning you. They're warning you. Take the help that's offered because you may need it. And it is going to balance your life in some way. And there's that key word. There's that key word, balance, again. Okay? Every one of the elemental signs has been looking for balance in their life. And let's see if the air signs of Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, if indeed they are looking for balance in their life or if they found it. So for the 24th of August, 2023, what is the message for the element of air? Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Let's cut the deck. And the card that I pulled for you is the reversed hermit. Now, the reversed hermit. It, it talks about a lot of things, okay? It talks about searching for your meaning, your true meaning, okay? Maybe you're in a situation where you'd like to be alone. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to focus on your balance and your energies. However, there might be a possibility that your seclusion is becoming harmful to you and to other people in your life, people who are involved with you, okay? So maybe you have noble intentions to search for your inner truth, okay? But maybe this path at looking at yourself inward is bringing about some type of danger into your life, and that might be isolation. You may be going inward so much and isolating yourself, yourself so much that it could lead to madness and anabasis, okay? Where you're feeling um, this unconscious feeling of images that, that you may not understand. 
Maybe you're feeling a period of depression. You're feeling scared. You're feeling um, unsupported in some way, okay? You're feeling trapped. Maybe you're stuck in a world all your own. You feel trapped and you feel that things going around in your world are unreal. They're not really, they're not your truth and you don't feel connected to other people. But it does talk about you wanting to get to the bottom of something that's been bothering you for a long time. There's something that you're remembering, something that is in the abscess of your mind, in the back, in the far reaches of your mind, a memory that you're trying to pull forward, but it's been troubling you for a long time. And it does talk about perhaps the searching that needs to be done. Maybe you need to ask other people to understand what's taking place in your life. Maybe you need to speak to a counselor. Now, in love, the reversed hermit talks about a period of loneliness where you're feeling, you're feeling limited, you're feeling unloved, you're feeling unsupported, okay? And this time may be trying for you, okay? But it does help if you can concentrate on your own goals and clarify what it is that you want from your life and focus on that, okay? This is going to be those solid building blocks for creating a solid future, whether it be a relationship with um, family members, with friends, with a love partner, okay? With a job, with whatever in your life. You're wanting to build a solid foundation to build that solid future in your life, that solid, great relationship, perhaps. Maybe you're already in a relationship, and you may feel that you feel distant, or maybe one person, you feel like someone in your life is pulling away from you. They're drifting away from you. They're not focused on you. You don't feel loved by this person. You don't feel important to this person. And so you feel alone. And it talks about it being time to examine that relationship, to examine the dynamics in your relationship and see whether you can reach out to form a more solid bond with this person. And this could be a relationship with a parental figure. It could be a relationship with a partner. It could be a relationship with a coworker or someone that you meet um, through an educational uh, course that you're taking. However, you're needing to reach out to someone to form a connection. And you need to extend that hand. You need attention and care and a strong dose of self-awareness in order to feel connected to your life again or to the people in your life again. Now, if we're talking about a career and the reverse hermit card comes up, it talks about moving out of a period of contemplation. You're ready to rejoin society, okay? You have a clear understanding of what you want in your career, in your relationships, in your life, in your environment. But it says that you need to do a bit of a realignment, whether it's looking for a new job, a new course of study, uh, finding new mentors, networking to find new friends, or getting involved in socially related aspects of your career or your life in general. But it could also be that your period of solitude may be extending further. You're choosing to avoid being around other people or joining with other people other, altogether. Maybe people are inviting you to get involved in uh, new opportunities, new activities, and you're choosing to pull away. But it also talks about possibly you being forced into some type of isolation, forced to work alone. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling like an outcast among the people that are supposed to love you and care for you. You're feeling like an outcast, whether it be among your co-workers or whether it be among your friends or your family members. You're feeling alone. You're feeling like no one cares. And this is what you need to fight against. You need to look deep to see if you have created this or if it's been thrown onto you. Has it been forced into your life? And so maybe you need to reach out to find someone who's going to support you to move out of this period of isolation. Now, if we're talking about finances, okay, maybe you're ready to look for advice from outside sources. And that's what it's talking about, whether it's finances, relationships, whatever it may be, home environments. You need to reach out to other people to find a connection to other people. It does talk about you coming out of a period of contemplation on what material security and money means to you. 
Maybe you're looking at those insights. You're looking at what it is that you wanted in your life. You wanted to manifest in your life. And have you manifested it? And now that you've manifested, are you walking away from it? Are you letting it disappear? Are you not utilizing it, okay? So it does talk about you needing to form a more solid relationship in your life with yourself, with your friends, with your family, with your environment, perhaps even with your job, or perhaps with even a course of study that you have decided to take. But indeed, you need to find your path. And as you notice, the lantern is upside down. So it is showing you a way forward, a new path to follow to bring about that enlightenment in your life. So what I'm seeing for all the elements right across the board is this is a period of time, especially today, the 24th of August 2023, where we all have to look to find our balance in our life. So today is a very important aspect of your future. So I shall see you on the next daily reading, which would be the 25th. Today is the 24th of August, 2023. Continue on your journey, and I shall see you on the 25th of August. Namaste. Bye.